Hey guys, 2007 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 liter. Just wanted to go over real quick how to replace the oil pressure sensor. It's a real common failure. I'm not gonna go into how to diagnose when it's bad, but uh, they fail in a few different ways. Anyway, this one's broken, and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and replace it. We've got the front wheels off of here. It's actually on a car lift. Got the front wheels off just to bring it down a little bit lower. If you're working in the driveway, you can always let the air out of the tires, get it down a little bit lower for you. Uh, and then got a stool here too. Uh, now here's here's what you're looking at. It's a three wire uh, oil pressure sensor, and it fits either a 27 millimeter socket deep or a deep inch and sixteenth socket. Uh, they probably make a special socket for it too, oil pressure socket. Uh, just to show you where it is, you got to pop this plastic cover off up here, and that, that just pops right off this pedestal here, and then slides back off those these two tabs right here. Uh, these two hooks. So if you go back over here on the driver's side of the engine compartment, behind the intake, you'll see this, this plastic shield here. And it's actually right behind that, down low. Kind of a pain in the butt to get to. So let's see if I can try to get you. There it is, sitting down there. Sorry about the camera angle. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and reach back here. Should be just an uh, easy connection to get off. Yep, uh, it actually feels like uh, tab's already broken for the lock. Um, maybe somebody already replaced it at some point. But there it is now, I got the connection off. And so I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the socket on there and then I'll uh, let you guys know what the extension I use here. All right, so got the old one out. Uh, as you can see, it looks like the rubber grommet from the connector got stuck in there, so I'm gonna make sure to take that out with a pick and put that back in the connector before installing the, the new one. Uh, this inch and 16th 12 point socket did not work. Uh, it actually fits pretty pretty loose in here. So uh, according to the, you know, the aftermarket one fits in there nice and tight. Probably would work for that. Um, but I was able to use this 27 millimeter deep six point. Uh, I ended up using a wobble extension. Uh, it's actually Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. So you don't need good tools to do this. Uh, and then, uh, what's that, like a six inch extension or eight inch extension? Um, and then a flex head Craftsman 3 8 ratchet. Uh, 27 millimeter impact. And basically, uh, get that thing on there and. Um, yeah, crank away at it. You can, you can crank it all the way off with the ratchet, and then um, you know it's going to be tight up against the firewall. But you don't need this combination. You can use whatever. You are going to need a 27 millimeter socket though, and uh, that's it. So the new one comes with thread sealant already on it. Um, so uh, this is, a, I believe, a DriveWorks product or Thorman. I forget what it was honestly. Um, it's all cheap China, right? Anyway, I'm going to put that back in, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this helps you out with where it's located. Um, I don't think I need to instruct you how to put it back in. All I can say is don't over-torque it and break the thing off in there, because then you're going to be uh, in trouble. That'll be a pain in the butt. So, All right, guys. Thanks a lot.